Thank you very much. Well, that was a bit of a letdown. At its March 21 product reveal, Apple pretty much announced everything that had already been leaked to the press, and not much else. And even the headline announcements weren't particularly exciting. But that doesn't mean they won't sell, because the iPhone SE and 9.7-inch iPad Pro do fill some important holes in Apple's existing product lineup. Many, many customers have asked for this, and I think they're really going to love it. Let's start with the iPhone. The iPhone SE is basically a capitulation to everyone who wants iPhone 6S performance in a 4-inch form factor that's friendly to smaller hands. It's got the A9 chip and M9 coprocessor. It's got always on Siri. It's got a 12-megapixel camera that shoots live photos and 4K video. And thanks to Touch ID, built-in NFC, and the secure element, it supports Apple Pay. The iPhone SE is basically an iPhone 5S with all of Apple's latest performance and platform tweaks, and it starts at just $399, if you're willing to settle for the 16-gig model. The 64-gig version costs $499, and both can be pre-ordered on March 24th. Next up, Apple unveiled iPad Pro. Now, wait a second. Wasn't that last year's news? Well, yes, but now there's a new iPad Pro. It has the same name as the original, so when discussing the new tablet, make sure to let people know that you're talking about the 9.7-inch version. It weighs less than a pound, and the coolest new feature is a new True Tone display that uses ambient light sensors to match the color temperature of the lighting around you. The 9.7-inch iPad Pro also comes with the A9X chip and M9 coprocessor and has four speakers that offer twice the audio volume of the iPad Air 2. And of course, because it's an iPad Pro, it supports Apple Pencil, as well as a new smart keyboard built for the 9.7-inch dimensions. Starting at $599 for the 32GB version, the smaller iPad Pro might appeal to people who want Pro features for a $200 price discount. The new iPad Pro might also be quite attractive to people who haven't upgraded their 9.7-inch iPad in three or four years. Beyond that, well, Apple didn't have much to share. The least expensive Apple Watch now costs just $299, and your Apple TV will soon be updated to support Siri voice dictation for App Store searches, names, and passwords. All in all, the March 21st event was a whole lot of steak and not much sizzle. But you know what? Next year, in 2017, we're looking forward to moving. This will make the next event seem even more spectacular in comparison. 